Today I got a little review of some parts, uh, putting together a short block and bought some stuff that I've never purchased before. It's all Summit Racing Pro LS stuff. And it's all good stuff, so stick around. So we've got Pro LS 5.3. 30 over forged pistons. You can see what they're branded as right there. But what they are is they are UEM pistons. And then I've got a set of the connecting rods, which are the Summit uh, 6.125 uh, 927 pin forged rods. They say they're good to 7500 rpm and 700 horsepower so as i tried to look up information on this stuff on these summit branded parts it's hard to find any info and basically it takes you to the summit youtube channel summit website and it just tells you what material they're made out of what what uh what the intended you know use is whatever but it doesn't tell you who makes them because you know summit doesn't make their own stuff they're having it made by somebody so I decided to go ahead and just buy a set. And since they're like 23, 24 miles away from me, I figured if I open it up and I don't like it, I can take it back. And so I decided to go ahead and take the plunge, buy a set of rods and pistons, and real happy with it because of the brands that they're made by and the quality that I'm seeing. For the rods, they are a scat rod. And I know that because I got eyeballs and Let's see, probably going to be hard to read in there. And also, it says scat right on them, ARP 8740s. So you got good stuff. They're good hardware, they're shop peen, nice rods. So right here, that's a stock Gen 4 rod. They've got that crack cap design. And... In case you're wondering, that went in number eight. But the stock bolts in the Gen 4 and everything are really good, but they're not real meaty in this area where you can see my finger wiggling around where my thumb is. They're plenty strong. I mean, you can push them pretty hard, but I think what happens when you start pushing them is you start getting some cap flex here because it's just flat. They're plenty thick, but it's just flat material. But you usually don't see major failures in them until you push them to high horsepower for a long time. Or if they come into any detonation, anything like that, they'll come apart. And you can, you can kind of make a comparison there. Real similar, but instead of a 6.098 inch rod, you're 6.125. And it's forged instead of powdered metal forging. Very similar process. Powder metal's real strong until when it lets loose and then it just cracks and falls apart. Usually a forging has some give in it and it'll bend. It'll fail, but it'll bend first. Got me a set of forged pistons here. These are from Summit and they are made by UEM. So these are 4032 forgings. And so far I've been real happy just looking at them the way they're built and everything they got the nice little oil drain holes they've got the gas port here between the top and bottom ring top and second ring nicely built nice everything UEM's pretty decent brand for some middle of the road forge pistons and the only thing I don't like is this sharp edge I mean you could almost cut yourself on it it's so sharp and what I've done I've just taken a little file and I'm just taking it and cleaning this edge up a little bit just to kind of make it a little more round because that will be a hot spot and nitrous and boost engines that hot spot will be like a cutting torch and it'll melt the piston right on that sharp edge a lot of times you'll see a melt on the ring lands over here on the edge of the piston because it's squared off but these have a nice rounded machined edge all but that valve relief so i'm just rounding it off 
just a little hint for you guys if you guys get something look at that if you're building a higher horsepower engine this one's not super high horsepower but it's going to be in a tow rig and it's going to see probably about 15 pounds of boost while towing right, so last thing i do with pistons before i install them just on the crown here i'm real careful just on the top take a piece of ultra fine gray scotch bright i just get the top of it now guys if you have a coated piston don't do this you're just going to take your coating off but these are just a raw aluminum and that stamping where all that is it's got some rough edges and stuff that come up on it all those rough edges go away it's nice and smooth compared to before you started and that's all you're trying to do just get all the edges out wipe her down spray it off wipe it again balanced crank they had to take quite a bit of material out of this crankshaft here not only did they drill two decent sized holes you can see I could almost put my pinky in it and I got some pretty fat meat hooks here but um, back here same thing three holes they had to drill plus some grinding so that's a big massive hole that they they double did there and my local machine shop down the road did this for me and he was saying he had to take a lot of material out because of how light this stuff is so that's really good I don't know exactly how light they are compared to a stock rod but on the rod box it tells you whoops, the big end and small end weights here which is nice and I think you can look up the weight of these pistons Here's a part number I got, but I don't know exactly the weight. And look, at least they're not made in China. So, hope this video helps you guys. Give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Future content coming soon.